in the fourth year of the annual Just Fin Fest, there were some new elements, but you can always count on a great time with tons of competitive volleyball, casual cornhole, free beer, basket raffles, and music, all the things Jess herself loved to do. It is exciting. I can't believe it came up so fast. It just is amazing that it's four years. Um, but we've got great weather again, and it's bigger than ever. We have new foundation gear, which a new logo and the gear is great. Everyone loves the apparel and it's just getting bigger and better. I love it. I mean, it's just a great like event. Everyone looks forward to it every year to come and play and it just seems to keep getting bigger and bigger every year. So it's just like great that it's like, it means so much to me. It means so much to everyone like who knows Jess. So it's just like so fun to like be here and just play her favorite sport for her. This is something that my, my girls played for Jess at North Anthony Area School District and she was a great mentor for the girls and taught them how to play volleyball. They had a really great time playing for her all those years. So to be part of this is something we can't we can't turn down. There's just no way. A time where friends and family honor her life, but also keep her spirit alive through sharing stories about the connections she made with so many during her time here on Earth. Everyone here, I feel, is connected somehow to Jess. They knew her, she taught her, they taught their daughter, they you know, played volleyball for her, whatever, and then word spreads. I had people walk in and say, what's this all about? And then when you tell them, they're like, oh my gosh, we would love to have played cornhole. We'll play next year. And so it just means a lot. Everyone just wants to help. She was a great coach, like a wonderful, like just like a friend, almost like she was there to talk to you when you needed it. She was always there for you, like, like a mom, like just a mom figure, like on and off the court. Like she's just a great person and like, oh, we miss her so much and like, play every day for her. I still play Westchester for her, so she's just a great person and all around. It is, and it's not only Northampton players that are here. I would say there's a good majority, but there's like players that have played for me that are from Emmaus and from Parkland and from Whitehall, from, you know, all, all Becca, all these different areas that are here today representing it. Volleyball is a lifetime sport. We all know it. You know, you don't, maybe you don't play as well when you get to be my age, but you still enjoy the sport and you still can do something in it. But, and that's what I love about volleyball, just to watch the camaraderie that just continues. Year four has officially been deemed bigger and better. With the most amount of teams signing up to play in the volleyball tournament, it's basically put them at max capacity. But moving to a separate location is simply not an option. And that's because North Catasauqua Park has been considered home to Jess and her family for years and is another great way to honor her life. We played here, Jess and I, we were on different teams, but we played here and this place means a lot and the community means a lot. And so if we have to fill to capacity and that's it, other people will find other things to do or they'll support us another way and I feel that's okay.